Hello everyone, welcome to Interiors by Style. My name is Božica, I'm qualified interior designer and color specialist. In today's video vlog, I want to talk about natural stone. So, um, and the reason for that is, uh, this is a very bossy element that we can find in majority of the homes, especially if you have uh, like a feature wall made out of natural stone or you have a fireplace. This uh, natural uh, material will dictate the color of your walls because it has an undertone and we need to find what is the undertone and based on that undertone you need to choose the wall color. That is the right way to do. Now um, when choosing a wall color we also need to determine what other undertones you have in your space and see if they're clashing Sometimes if they do, you need to uh, get uh, rid of one and just work uh, with uh, one or max two undertones that can work well together. However, I do want to mention that I have created an online course where I teach all about undertones and color schemes and how to make these neutral colors work really well together. I will link um, the uh, course uh, link below this video and you can have a look uh, and see if you would like to learn more about color. So let me show you a bit up close uh, this stone. Uh, so as you can see it, it is a beautiful neutral um, and we are going to test it now and see which undertone um, is hiding behind. So we will always use a white, pure white color to compare because once we put an element next to a pure white, we can really see what colors are popping through. Um, and um, it looks very, very much to me like a beautiful beige um, neutral with a slight pink undertone. So we are going to test it uh, now and see if I'm right. So I have a couple of um, beige with pink undertone colors from Julux. We are going to place them next to, I'm um, gonna go from the darkest. Then we're going to place the stone and we can see that actually both of these colors um, are in, um, in the stone. You can see both of them are pop popping through. So your best option is you can choose either one of these colors for your walls or if they are a bit too uh, deep for you, you can definitely go to a paint shop and ask for different strengths of these colors, but they must have a beige with a pink undertone because that is exactly what this stone has. It has a beige with a pink undertone. Um, beige, uh, beige colors are a bit tricky because they don't like to be paired with uh, many different undertones and I teach all that in my online course. So um, you have to be careful when you are pairing your room up and when you're working with neutrals because a lot of people really love to decorate and do their homes with neutral colors because they feel really safe yet they are the hardest um, colors to coordinate and work with. So um, now if you let's say don't want to use any of these colors on the walls you want to go with white um, we have many different type of white colors, but beige with a pink undertone really loves cool white colors uh, that have that tint, uh, um, uh, um, just a little bit of blue undertone coming through because whites with the a slight blue undertone will calm the pinkness in this material. So for example, I have chosen a Lexicon Quarter from Julux and if we put it here, we can see that it would just calm the, um, a lot of this pink, pinkness that it's coming through. And also we can also see um, a little speckles of uh, cool white in the stone. I mean, I can see, I'm sure you can't see from there. Uh, so uh, this would also be another option. But don't be um, 
uh, scared to use um, any of these uh, beautiful uh, beiges with the pink undertone. Uh, as I have said, uh, these two colors work really well with this stone, but you can definitely um, reduce the uh, strength of it. They can be much lighter as long as they have the same undertone. And um, that is pretty much it uh, for me for this video vlog. That is all I wanted to share with you in regards to the stone. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. The same rules and same principles apply if you have, um, you know, Carrara stone. You still need to go and choose that perfect white uh, because there's so many different whites. We have our off white, cream white, white with a little bit of pink undertone, blue undertone tone so we need to match and see which white works the best and that would be your wall color um, and if you have stones that are in the beige category you have to be very careful because you have you can have a stone with a uh, green beige undertone pink yellow orange so you have to always test it and then see which paint color would work the best but if you want to learn all about it you can definitely um, have a look at the link below and see um, what I offer in my online course. And that is it for me for this video vlog and I'll see you in another one. Ciao for now.